Hello students, welcome to Legacy IS Academy. In today's video, we are going to discuss about a mineral that has recently been discovered from the Satluj River of India. The mineral is called as tantalum, which has a huge implications on the chip and manufacturing industry of India. So what is the significance of tantalum and what is its uses? Let us try to understand in this video. So first of all, to give you the background that why the tantalum element is in use. So recently, a team of researchers that were led by a team of Indian Institute of Technology Roper has found the presence of tantalum, which is an example of a rare earth metal on which obviously China has a monopoly currently in the Satlas River sand of Punjab. The discovery has been made by a team that was led by Dr. Rismi Sebastian, who is the assistant professor at the Institute of Civil Engineering in the department of Civil Engineering Department in the IIT Roper. According to the expert, the presence of this tantalum is significant not only for the Punjab but also India as metal is widely used in the electronics and the semiconductor industry and these two industries have been the focus of Make in India program of Government of India for quite few years. So let us try to understand first of all the geography where the discovery has been made. So as you can see from the map here, we have the Indus River. The Satluj is one of the major tributary of the Indus river that we know originate from the Kailash range in Tibet and then via flowing through the Shipkila pass of Himachal Pradesh, it enters then flowing along the Dholahar range, then it enters into the plain of Punjab just to the northward of Shivalik hills and then it flows in the plain areas of Punjab where it meets the river Bias. So, IIT Roper, Roper is actually situated along the bank of river Satluj and the discovery also has been made in the sands of river Satluj where the tantalum has been found. Now, let us try to understand that what is tantalum and why it is important. So, tantalum is an element as we can see from the periodic table here with uh, atomic number of 73. The atomic number basically represents the number of proton that an element has in uh, the element has in its atom. It is grey in color heavy if you talk about the weight because the weight of the tantalum is about 143. So at basically what we can say is the atomic weight of tantalum is 143. So it's gray, heavy, very hard and are the most corrosion resistant material that is used today in different industries and production processes. It possesses high corrosion resistance because when exposed to air, it forms an oxide layer that is extremely difficult to remove and suitable for even when it interacts with the strong and hot acid environment. Now, if you look at the properties, the unique properties of the tantalum that makes its demand higher. As per the United States Department of Energy, when tantalum is pure, it is very, very ductile in characteristics. When you talk about or when you use the term ductile, what we mean or as we can see from this particular diagram that it can be stretched, pulled or drawn into a thin wire or thread without breaking. That is what we mean by term ductility. So, it is very, very ductile in nature when it is found in its pure form. Also, if we talk about DAE has done a lot of experiment on the tantalum and they have found that it is completely immune to chemical attacks at temperatures below 150 degrees Celsius and is attacked only by hydrofluoric acid, acidic solutions containing the fluoride ion and free sulfur trioxide. Apart from that, notably, tantalum also has an extremely high melting point exceeding only by tungsten and rhenium, increasing its importance in many industries. Now, we talk about the discovery of tantalum. For the first time, it was discovered by Anders Gustav Ickenberg who was a Sw Swedish chemist somewhere in 1802 in the minerals that was obtained from Yetterby region of Sweden. However, when he discovered about this, it was thought that Ekenberg had found only a different form of niobium. It is not a different kind of element as he was claiming, an element that is chemically sim similar to tantalum. However, the issue was finally settled in 1866 when John Charles Galizard de Marignac, a Swiss chemist, proved that tantalum and niobium were two distinct elements. Now, the question comes that why the name tantalum has been assigned to this particular element. So, it is rooted in the Greek mythology. Now, if you try to understand this in more detail, in Greek mythology, we have a figure that is called as Tantalus. Now, Tantalus was a king, a king who was very, very rich, but at the same time, he was very wicked in nature. And he was a king of a town that was situated just above Mount Sipolis in Anatolia region. Now, earlier time, Anatolia was part of a Greek empire. So, as per the Greek mythology and as the story goes, it is believed that Tantalus 
was uh, Tantalus uh, made Zeus, who is the main god of Greek mythology, very very angry when he tried to put his son and serve his son at a feast that was largely reserved for the gods. As a result, Zeus became very angry and he then cursed the Tantalum, uh, the Tantalus basically, and he was then sent to the Netherlands. Basically, Netherlands means the uh, region that we can also call or compare to hell. And in that region, basically, Tantalus was allowed to stay in a pool of water. And above, as you can see above his head, we have the apple tree that was hanging. But the curse was such that if Tantalus wanted to drink water, as soon as he go toward water, try to collect the water in his hand, the water level simply recedes away and go away. And on the other hand, whenever he tries, basically, to Basically, whenever he tries to eat the apple, the tree's branches used to go up high. That means he could neither eat nor drink and this was the state in which he was destined to by the Jews. So, basically, the name Tantalus and from Tantalus we have Tantalum was selected because the insolubility of Tantalum in acids is something that is similar to the Tantalus story and whenever a place in the midst of acid, it is incapable of taking any of them up like Tantalus was able to take uh, either fruit or the water. Now, we talk about the major uses where Tantalum can have a significant impact is most prominently in the electronic industry or electronic sector. We talk about Tantalus, Tantalum, it can be used for the manufacturing of capacitor because it is capable of storing more electricity in a smaller sizes without much leakage than any other type of capacitors that we have today. Apart from that, it can also be ideal for use in the electronic devices which are of portable nature such as laptops, smartphones as well as digital cameras. Not only that, it can also be used as a substitute for another metal that is element that is platinum because tantalum like platinum also has high melting point. But the advantage tantalum has that the cost of the we can per kg of tantalum is much more lower as compared to platinum which is one of the most expensive metals or materials on the earth. Apart from that, it can also be used as a component or uh, what you can say component for the chemical material, component for chemical plants, nuclear power plants, aeroplanes as well as missiles. And tantalum does not react with bodily fluids and is used to make surgical equipments and implants like artificial joints according to the US Department of Energy. Thus, what we can say in conclusion that a composite consisting of tantalum carbide and graphite is one of the hardest material known to us. It is used in the cutting edges of high speed machine tools and the discovery of this rare metal in the Satellite Zero of IIT uh, by IIT Roper researchers could help India become the global hub of semiconductor and chip making industry as has been envisioned by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself. So that is all for this particular video. I hope you understood about the significance and role of Tantalum. Thank you very much.